A woman attacked by dogs just days before Christmas. She's lucky, even the officer asked, you know, how'd you survive that? Well, tonight that victim remains in intensive care. Meanwhile, we're learning new developments in the case. As News 4's Hunter Elise tells us, there could be potential consequences for the dog's owners. Three of the dogs are now in quarantine here at Animal Welfare. After that, possible dangerous dog charges for the owners. You know, she was lucky. Even the officer asked, you know, how'd you survive that? You know, grace to God, I guess, you know. It was last Friday. Hilario Reyes's wife was walking to the store when she was attacked by dogs near the corner of Southeast 49th and Lindsay. She was bleeding out. She has two wounds right here and right here and nerve damage. And then all over her arm is you know, little puncture wounds. He didn't even know where she was for two days and then filed a missing persons report. That's when he learned his wife was at OU Health. When we talked to Reyes on Tuesday, he said complaints about dangerous dogs in the neighborhood have been made in the past. Oklahoma City Animal Welfare telling us Wednesday. At this point in time, we're not sure if those calls, these were the same dogs are involved in those calls or not. Friday, Animal Welfare took custody of three dogs involved in the attack. They'll be in quarantine for several more days. Under Oklahoma law, the owner of an aggressive dog that bites or attacks could face up to a year in prison and a $5,000 fine. Animal Welfare says they're still trying to get in touch with the owners. If no one comes forward... They would become ours at that point in time anyway, and then we would uh, evaluate them and then make a decision on what to do with them at that point. In Oklahoma City, Hunter Release, Oklahoma's News 4. We do have an update on Mr. Reyes's wife. She is starting to walk, even though she's still in ICU. If you'd like to help the family as she recovers, there is a link on our website, kfor.com.